everyone, my name is Teacher Sylvia with Options for Learning, and today's story is titled The Giving Tree. And this story is written and illustrated by Shel Silverstein. The Giving Tree. Do you see the tree? What is it giving? And who is it giving it to? That's a little clue as to what our story is about. So let's find out about the giving tree. Once there was a tree. Here we see the trunk and the leaves and part of where the roots would be there. And she loved a little boy. Oh, who do we see coming here? And every day the boy would come. Take a look at the tree. What do you think it's doing there? And how does the little boy look to see the tree? What do you think? And he would gather her leaves. So there he is gathering or collecting, picking up all the leaves that she is dropping for him. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. So here he has a leaf of crowns. And look at the tree. What do you think the tree is doing? And how do you think he feels as king of the forest? He would climb up her trunk. So here's our trunk and take a look. What do you see? We see little feet and hands, right? Climbing up the trunk. And swing from her branches. Can you spot him? Do you see the little boy swinging from her branches? Yep, there he is. And eat apples. So what type of a tree is this? An apple tree. And there he is, our core, apple cores. And they would play hide and go seek. Where's the little boy hiding? He's hiding behind the rock between these two rocks. You think the tree found him? Have you ever played hide and seek? It's a fun game. You should try it sometime. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. So if you take a look at the tree, what does it remind you almost of if it's creating shade? Kind of like in an umbrella where the umbrella or the tree leaves block the sun from shining and it's a nice, cool place to rest. And the boy loved the tree. And how do you know he loved the tree? What is he doing there? He's giving the tree a great big hug. Do you think the tree's giving a hug back? Looks like it. He loved her very much. And the tree was happy. So if you take a close look here, looks like the little boy carved into the trunk of the tree and he put me and T. So me would be the boy and tree, t -t tree, tree. The word tree starts with the letter T. We hear the T sound. So him and tree. And the heart is a symbol for love. So, so they love each other, right? But time went by. And how do we know time went by? Because the little boy is not so little anymore. And the boy grew older. He's getting big, like a grown-up. Uh-oh, we see another heart now. Now there are two. And this heart says me and why I. Who could that be? And how many feet do we see here? One, two, three, four. So if we have two feet and two legs, how many people do you think are under the tree? Perhaps two people, right? And the tree was often alone. Oh, and if we look at the tree, the tree looks a little sad, right? And why is the tree alone? Because 
the man, the boy that's now a man, might be busy with somebody else that he loves. Then one day the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb, climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. So the tree is giving the, the man, the, that was a boy, his apples, and he could sell them and get some money. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Why would the tree be happy that she gave her apples to the boy? because the tree probably knows that she's made him happy by giving her what she could. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy as she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. He said, I want a wife and I want children and I so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. So he, the tree told him, go ahead and take my branches, right? And houses are made out of wood and the tree is wood, so he's letting him take it to make his house so that he can be happy. Do you recognize the boy? He's a much older man now. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build the house. There he goes. And do we see any leaves or branches on the tree? No. But the tree is sharing all she can, right? And the tree was happy. And the tree was happy because she made the boy happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and too sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you could sail away and be happy. So here we see the trunk made of wood. Boats are made of wood. And so the tree said, go ahead, take my trunk so that you can be happy. And that is a giving tree, right? Giving everything she has to the boy that she loves. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And here's what's left of our tree. And there goes the boy with the trunk. And the tree was happy, but not really. Why not really? If you look at the tree, why not really? What do you think? And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, said, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. So what do you think is going to happen? Let's find out to see. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. 
Well, said the tree, straightened up herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was very happy. The end. And there's the, the boy, and now he's an old man resting on the stump. Did you like that story? And who gives you a lot of things and helps you with a lot of things? And how does that make you feel? Yeah. Hope you enjoyed our story. Thank you.